Oh. Uh, Tony two times. Cause it take two times to do what you couldn't do with two minds. And yeah, never get another chance. YouTube, welcome back. It's your boy Tony, two times. Today, I'm coming back with you guys with another video, but this topic might be a little lengthy as I'm gonna break down the reason as to why I want to be a YouTuber in the first place and how it came about to me doing it. Let's get right into it. As I sit here and think about the reason that I wanna do YouTube and the reason why I started it was you know healing healing for me is something that i take very seriously having mental discipline is something i take very seriously just growing up i didn't know and it's something that my youngest daughter is going through right now but I, I really didn't know who i was i didn't know why i was here and it was very hard for me to be aware of anything that had anything to do with my actions my actions and having accountability is something that I really never knew how to do until up most in recent. Um, it wasn't like somebody telling you, you know, you put your hand on the stove, it's hot. Okay, go find out. And it's just like, you don't understand why you got burned until hindsight is 2020. Okay, nobody put that hand on the stove but you, right? That's a little you know, poetry for you, but in the long run, a lot of decisions that I had made, I didn't really know until after what it really was that I had did. Three things that as, you know, recently till today, I've been able to do, and I'm trying to teach my youngest daughter on how to do it too. So three things that I used, it was number one, polarity. Polarity from the Cabalion was something that I just thought about. And I just thought to myself, you know, the complete opposites of something and everything is the same it's just like a matter of temperature so hot and cold you all talking about air here or whatever the degree of hotness is is it not hot at all is it cold or is it still temp my polarity of who i am and my temper and me just being regular so my polarity it was swinging a lot getting that in check the polarity so you don't bounce from bar to bar from happy to sad right in the middle is neutral so um been very good on staying mentally disciplined when it comes to polarity getting very happy is something i really don't like doing so get to a good moderate happy and content into neutral because i really don't want to go negative i want to just go neutral just to avoid negativity i just want to say everything's good just stay neutral so polarity really helped me take accountability on my actions. Polarity really helped me get uh, st stable in my mind upstairs. The second thing was rhythm. Rhythm. I never had stability growing up really. Like not at all. I mean, you call being at one place for a year as the lease is up, that stability fine, but not for me. I would love to have been somewhere for five to 10 years, somewhere I could call home, but no state to state, house to house, couch to couch, from whatever and however. So my rhythm was very off growing up. I, I couldn't get into a sequence, a rhythmic sequence about my day, about my life. And it was very, it was hard to tell where I was coming from, where I am now and where I'm going. It was, it was just hard to see my past, my present and my future. And so a lot of times um, just not being on a good rhythm did not set me up for a lot of success. And man, that rhythm is good. It is really important. The next thing, the last thing that I focused on to this day, um, a part of my mental discipline is vibration. Everything moves, nothing is at rest. My phone, everything has molecules in it. Everything is moving. If you can see it, it's moving, it doesn't matter. If you leave a foam styrofoam cup on the planet and everybody just leaves the planet and you come back in a hundred years, that styrofoam cup is gonna literally be dwindled away 
because of so much time that gravity will play on that cup and given the natural resources like just simply air, maybe it never rains, but air, water, all of these things will have effects on something, no matter what it is. So vibration is very important. Getting these three things into order is definitely my biggest key niche for just my way of thinking, my philosophy of life. I just sit here in my in my solitude, in my fortress of solitude, and I think to myself, you know, how can I get my daughter, my youngest daughter, to get better at accountability? Well, for every answer, I always look inward into the divine powers and what I have going on. And so, polarity, rhythm, and vibration all have allowed me to take a good understanding about how to separate the me from the I, right? So I wake up every day and in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And then when me is doing it or me is actually, do, or has actually done it, then, you know, I can say that was me, you know, I am me. So the I has the finger. The me is who you point it to, right? So I am me. And so I want to take my uh, my time with this subject um, and accountability because my daughter is my main focus. Um, both of them are, but my, my, my youngest daughter is my main focus on this because she is just like me. For me, I, I actually would admit to say that I do feel that I am autistic. I'm not just some regular Joe. I, I'm actually pretty weird. So autism is something that I feel that is almost a special superpower of natural intuition and mind powers when you when your brain is just working overtime, always. It's always thinking about something, looking at something, judging something, um, just accurately pin, pinpointing something in your mind in order to get the certain measurements. You just Your mind is always moving. Being autistic, your mind is steady moving in some form, some fashion. That leaks down into things like ADHD and OCD. So being very particular about certain things, being very creative, you know, as I understood that the Kabbalion talked about the all, right? The all, the all, all things, everything all of everything, <laughs> right? No matter what it is, all of it is a part of one giant entity. That was difficult to process. You know, the, the more I got into the all, the more I could understand where I was, where I am now, and where I'm going. So the Kabbalion has done wonders for me in my life and making me mentally disciplined so that I can be a very good leader with patience and wisdom and guidance. And it's, it's for a reason that God, the essence of life, you know, gave me daughters. It was, it was a natural reason um, as this is the type of man that I aligned and assigned to be a, a leader, you know, that would change generations, that would change the outcomes of so many kids and people that will come to this earth because I have two uh, people that will make more people. <laughs> and so it's up to me to teach them to people how to make good good human beings and more good people. Um, no matter if they may have decisions and mistakes because decisions are choices and mistakes are just um, things you didn't mean to do, but you did it. So they're gonna make choices. They're gonna make decisions. They're gonna make mistakes. And it's uh, up to me to be there to catch them and guide them and uh, allow them to fail because how else they're going to learn? You know, you just keep playing this one game and you just keep winning every level without ever needing upgrading your goddamn weapons, without ever, ever needing to upgrade your armor. You're never going to learn this game. You're actually going to feel like it's pretty easy. So until my, my, my girls and and me personally 
everything that I say is based off of experience until I started to really fail and uh, have, again, my mom in the most dire times there to catch me and allow me to fail, but then realize how much value and weight that situation held. And um, that's what I inspire to do for my women is catch them and allow them to fail and allow them to have a safeguard net. And the only way that I'm gonna do it is being mentally disciplined. The only way that I'm going to be able to overcome everything that I've been given through my generational curse is to become uh, very mentally strong. And the only way that I truly believe that I'm going to be mentally strong is if I sit in solitude alone in my fortress of solitude in seclusion. I know it's difficult, but it's all the same. You know, I really um, think about being alone and it doesn't bother me the same anymore as it used to. I know that I have myself, right? So me, myself, and I, so again, separating the me from the I to find myself is really what I really want to pass on. Um, my name is Anthony. I didn't like it for a very long time. Calling myself Ant, I, I didn't like that at all. But come to find out, ants can lift 10, 20 times their weight. Ants are very scientifically proven to be one of the best species on the planet when it comes to just goal-oriented, family, leadership, structure, organization, defense, offense. I mean, whatever you need, there are thousands of species on of, of ants on the planet who are so strong. So then um, just thinking about it, um, I actually don't mind being called Anthony as I am Tony, Tony two times. The last three years, four years of my life, 2021, 2022, it was a real big eye opener for me about who I was and I went through a lot. We'll get into another video about it, but I almost died. You know, I almost had my life taken away from me. And after that, I had to find out who I really was. When I almost got my life taken away from me and given the 2020 hindsight and aftermath, I gained knowledge that I basically set myself back about three years. So everything that I had gained up until that point was stripped and ripped away from me, almost like a sacrifice. It was one of the hardest things that I've ever come in contact with. And it wasn't hard in the moment. It, it was hard over time. Over time, it, it, it really weighed on me who I am. And uh, after coming out of the hospital, Oh man, I I was pretty fucked up in the head. I, I really had to relearn a lot, but um, staying mentally disciplined and not forgetting what I had taught myself. I just I just hated how I could never catch it in the moment, but I will always catch it in hindsight. After a long, vigorous like process of learning who I am, discovering this Tony guy, discovering this alter ego discovering this part of myself because it's me myself and i it's three people here so it's really two and then you got one in completion to find out who you are everybody has that point of them that part of them that they talk to themselves you might be at work just stocking something at work or you might just be filling out paperwork or you just might be doing anything at work and you have a head a, a voice in your head which is your, your conscious and it's just talking to you it's the inside of you just talking to yourself and to the point where it's just so loud. Keep talking about this one thing that you're like, okay, damn. And people just looking at you like, you okay? Like, my bad. I was talking to myself. <laughs> I was responding because you're getting too damn loud. I, God damn, I can't even think. Shut up. Get off me. Shit. When you have mental discipline about who you are, um, separating the me from the I, using those three laws of hermitist, the polarization, the rhythm, and the vibration, um, you will discover a, a, a scientific way to, 
to who you are. Past the healing, past the loving yourself, past the finding your happiness. There are three laws, really seven, if you really just want to read the Kabbalion. It's on YouTube, an audio book. The Kabbalion. C, I'm sorry. K-Y-B-A-L-L-O-N. It's right on YouTube. It's an audio book. It took me three weeks to learn it. Three weeks to hear it. Three weeks to understand it. Three weeks to process the information that was given to me. It took me three weeks. Nobody gave me this book. I found it on my own. I didn't even know how, but I I felt like I had knew everything that was in this book already, but I just didn't know it was a scientific way. It was like a, a certain way to go about doing these things, and it was law. And I couldn't believe it. Um, it was everything I needed to know. 25 years I've been on this planet. 25 years. It's kind of scary when I think about it. Given the fact that I had to reset from, you know, the age of 23, pushed me back three years to basically where I was when I first got to Charlotte, somewhere it's been like my second home. It's like, damn, I gotta fucking redo all this shit over again, get another car, and I gotta get this, and I gotta get a house, and I gotta get a better job, and I gotta do all of this stuff that I already had did and already had just to get those two babies back, and I gotta do it all over again. Shit is crazy. It's going. It's all right. I mean, with all the knowledge that I have, it, it makes it a lot easier to traverse through your life knowing that I have failed so many times, knowing that I have experienced so many hardships, done so many things that I, I should never have did. Looking at that, it's just like, damn, there is no excuse. The only time you get an excuse is when it's something new and you have to fail. That's not even a fucking excuse. You had to do it. So don't even look at it like a loss. It's a lesson. You had to do it. So I'm just thinking to myself, okay, I'm 25, 30 is around the fucking corner. And I talk about a lot of one 25 to 30 year olds should be doing, especially women. Well, you might be asking, what am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? I am doing the same exact thing that I'm talking about. I am trying to build myself up for my 30 year old years I'm, i just turned 25 there's no fucking way i'm about to live the next five to seven years of my fucking life doing what i did the previous five to seven years there's no fucking way i'm doing it it's just not happening jack it's not happening i am in school i'm going to school for computer science technology i debt put computer engineering technology and i'm definitely going to make sure that I pick up a skill in a career that I actually like. I really love problem solving. I really love being able to help people in, in, in really hard ways that most people can't do it. I hate being at work and there's fucking fries beeping and then you know that I'm going to go do it, but people literally rushing to go do it. And any other time, they on their fat ass just being lazy. But today, they want to do it. And I'm just like, well, you know what? It is beneath me. Or if something's going on, some people want to do those things knowing damn well I can do it all. That's when I decided to leave the flim flam, leave the simple things to simple people. See, complex situations and complex things are more the reason why I exist. I need a tough situation. I need to live and learn. I would love to be somebody to figure out these difficult problems. So, Computer technology is something that I, is striving for me for for challenge um, to be that in, intricate with technology and, you know, just information. And I, I'm going to put that into my life as, of course, I love technology. I love computers. I love computer softwares. I, I just really have a knack for solving. Enough said. So you get a pretty much idea about who I am and what I'm about and where I've been, where I'm at, where I'm going. But it's just time to show people results. It's, it's just time to show people that I'm not bullshitting. I'm the CEO of no bullshit. It's time to make this company real. It's time to make this brand a real thing. You know, it's time to really sell you guys a seed that you can fucking plant on your damn own 
and stop asking for somebody to give you something. Stop acting like somebody's coming to save you. Nobody's coming to fucking save you. Now, the only people who might come save you is the hospital, the morgue, you know, or the police, or the or a fucking jail cell. If you want to be fucking quite frank, because I don't know where you're from, buddy, but I know where I'm from, and where I'm from is not nowhere near where I am now. I mean, seriously, I don't, I don't feel like I belong here. Sometimes I know I've earned it, I know I deserve it, but it seems funny to think that you know, coming from Baltimore, single mother. Being the black sheep, being the black sheep of the family, unlike every single one of you Negroes, I didn't want to be like you. No, I had to. No, at some, at some, at some degree, it was like I wanted to, just because there was the only thing around me, and I had to, kinda. But I really didn't. Given the right leadership, the guidance, the wisdom, men. These young men will grow up totally different. I, I'm sorry, I can't be that OG to be in the, the hospital with the wheelchair to tell you, oh man, I shoulda, did a, did a, but a, but a, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Or I can't be the one that's in the shell and the dead, the, the the prison cell with you, telling you, yeah, man, just play some chess, man, stay out the way. Look, I'm not doing that shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm 25 years old. And I've wasted the last seven years to eight years of my fucking life putting time and energy where it was not even fucking wanted. <laughs> it's like, how do you pass up on a good man? Right? Because you never seen one and you don't know what one looks like. And that will rip a good man to shreds and it will cause him to not be a good man, but some little ass boy. These things are real. You don't want to do them. So, if you know that you're a good man, and you know that you're a good guy, and you grow up in the trenches and the streets and things like that, but it's just something in you, like you actually like anime, you don't, you, you got your own swag to you, you don't like doing what everybody else is doing, and you know this nigga's copying you, you really charming and handsome, you like sports, you real fit, you, if you seem like you, any of these things, you're you know what I mean, handyman, smart guy. You have so much value that is unseen from, you know, a, a hidden eye, you know, because you can't, you never see the eye that the society has on you, but you know, it's there. And people are watching, they can't see the value that you have. They can't see what you're supposed to be bringing to the table because you are the fucking table. You are the fucking prize. You've sat there in your solitude for so damn long, people don't even understand how you still made it. That's what's funny. So continue to stay focused, fellas, and believe that you're not alone. There are so many men out here, so many young men out here, so many young men that will are not allow you to see how they did it, but I'm one of them. I do believe that there is a calling for generational curse breakers and black sheep. There is a calling for young men that want to make a difference and just don't know how. You want to change the world, change yourself. You want to change an environment, change yourself. I remember looking at this book called The Coffee Bean. I gave it to my daughter to read. I never forget it. Instead of allowing the environment to have an effect on you, you are an environment to yourself. Have an effect on any environment that you're put in. You have an effect. If it's bad or good, doesn't matter. You have a lot of value to you. And I like to share something else. Just because you've experienced hardships, You've experienced pain, traumas. There is no end all be all to it. You must continue to go through pain, struggles and traumas in order to reach a new level of strength. As above, so below. As below, so above. So any type of darkness that is around you, use it as fuel. Use it as physical evidence. Once you see the negative, once you see the darkness, just know that light exists. Be careful 
about spreading your light. You go to work and you talk to the wrong people and then all of a sudden they know that you're mentally awake and conscious, they don't like it. Now that you're mentally aware and conscious, they can't say shit, certain shit to you. Now that you're mentally aware and conscious, they can't play you like a fiddle and just use you. So be careful when you become mentally disciplined on trusting people and entrusting them on the wisdom and knowledge that you hold because nobody, everybody's not ready for this. Everybody's not gonna like this. Everybody can't understand this, all right? We go too far for understanding the regular thinkers. There are levels to this. So do not cast your pearls upon swine. Do not give milks to grown men, but to the babes. Meat for men, milk for babes. This shit has deeper meaning. Search out the truth and you'll find it. It's your boy, Tony, two times. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I'm tired of this pain, man. I'm tired of this drama. I knew this shit was over when I lost my baby mama. Can't forget about the past, but forgot about Devonna. Gotta do shit all at once, trying to forget about the trauma. I hate Instagram, show and tell for designer. I just want the pain to end, but can't forget about my mama. My brother, he's so lost behind a cold, he always bonded. Can't forget about those ones who tried to kill me, pay them homage. The things I